My name is Trish Steiger. And I'm Katherine Gates. And we're with the Wayne County Impact Group in Wayne County, Ohio. 27% of our 8th graders and 45% of our 10th graders have reported drinking within the past year, which is higher than the national average. And so underage drinking is what we're focusing on as part of the Wayne County Impact Group. We relied on the strategic uh, prevention framework through our entire planning process. And it was a tool we used over and over again. We looked at assessment, um, capacity building, planning, implementation, and evaluation. And one of the things we did first was collect data and information through our youth asset survey. We looked at qualitative data, and we looked at using the triethnic model of community readiness. And we found out we were at the planning stage. So that was right where we could jump off and work on trying to figure out what the next steps were gonna be. And we decided to work on a social norming campaign called Talk the Listen. And that's when we began our implementation of beginning to get it out to the community in the summer and preparing for school through diverse uh, means like um, media, billboards, social norming, social media, school texts. And some of the tools that we used, which were really important, was one that was major was talking to our OCAM coach on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. Um, sometimes we came up with challenges and we would brainstorm everything, but it was really good to have somebody to bounce and get some feedback from. We also relied on the website and the webinars and guidance from the state officials. So uh, keep your mind open and look for all those avenues for really great help. After this project has ended, our coalition has decided to sustain two different elements. One is continued support in using a youth asset and substance use survey within our school district. We were very lucky to get all of our local school districts to participate, which we were very proud of, and we plan on continuing that so that we will have data to be able to use in our future efforts. And the other component is a social media hub, um, and we'll let Kathy talk a little bit about that. We're working on a website that is uh, called Wayne County Coalitions, and it's going to be a hub for all of our community coalitions. We have four of them in our county in various communities, and so it's a way for us to bring them together to put their information on. We're also looking to have a lot of resources for parents. Um, how can they talk to their kids? How can they have that hard conversation? Tips and pointers, studies, and uh, great information, hands-on tools, have dinner with your kids, do some simple activities, spend time with them, so that they don't, they aren't scared about, okay, talk, they'll listen, but how do I get them to, how do I talk, and how will they listen to me? So we're just trying to have it be a central hub for information and resources. In order to evaluate the strategies that we've chosen, our coalition is committed to using data. So data points the way. Some different data points that we're going to be looking at, we're going to ultimately determine whether or not our youth are going to decrease their rates of drinking alcohol. In addition to that, we're also going to look at data points such as family communication. Are we increasing based off our media campaign? Are parents talking more to their youth about substances. We're also looking at parental disapproval rates and so those data components. In addition, there's a formative evaluation that was built right into the SPF process which will take a look at things like how many people are we reaching with our media campaign, how many likes are we getting, are folks interacting with what we put out there. Um, in addition to the demographic piece, so are we reaching all members of our community and all of our targeted populations. So when we have targeted media ads on Facebook or Instagram, um, are we doing what we say we're doing? And we're working closely with our media campaign and the individuals responsible for that to ensure that. In order to determine if we're successful in our evaluation, we're going to be looking at ultimately whether you are not drinking at the same rates long term as they were in the short term. And we will also be taking the temperature of our community and our community coalitions by asking our key informants and maybe conducting future focus groups to identify do we think the message that we're sending got out and what are the results. Throughout the process of our 
implementation, we became really good at collecting data for our surveys. And so after this process is over, we're going to make sure that the process we have in place for working with our school districts and making sure that we have a smooth setup in order to get our community-wide data, that that is sustained and that we continue to do that. In addition, we're going to continue our efforts with the media campaign um, to make sure that we are continuing our efforts in a way that makes sense for our community. We used cultural competence in our initiative um, with a few challenges because Wayne County is primarily white and uh, it's 96% uh, white. And so we wanted to make sure, first of all, that we had people on our coalition who were representative of our community in all facets. So uh, we had as diverse a population as we could get. And um, then we reached out to various um, diverse groups in trying to get information about how would they feel that they would be better included. This was some of the information we got from our focus groups. And we tried to um, implement some other campaigns so that it wasn't just a middle class campaign. We were looking at all socioeconomic groups and realizing that some people didn't have internet access. So we're gonna send information out via the school's texts and blasts to all parents. And one of the things we decided on was kind of the universal food that everybody likes, which is pizza. It's affordable, it's accessible. We have lots of pizza places in Wayne County. And so we decided to put flyers and information on pizza boxes so it could be readily accessible. One of the other things about a social norming campaign that's good is parents are really busy. They're involved in lots of activities. It's hard for them to get away from home. They've got kids they've got to watch or kids they've got to get to activities. So we want them to be able to access and get the information as easy as possible. It's also going to be out on billboards, um, flyers, articles in the newspaper. So we're trying to tackle it from a lot of different avenues to reach all of our people in the community. Our images themselves also, we wanted to make sure that they were diverse and it wasn't the same um, image that folks were seeing. And so being a rural county, we wanted to make sure some of our images portrayed rural scenes. We wanted to make sure that people's skin colors weren't all the same in our image so that everybody in our community could take a look and see themselves in the, in the messages. I think within our community, the component of the SPF that required the most attention to cultural competence was the planning stage. I think prior to sending out a media message that would be seen by everybody in our community, we needed to make sure it was a responsible message and that it reached everyone. And so lots of conversations around that topic were had to make sure that we were inclusive and that it, the message itself really represented our community. One of the things that we will prioritize uh, as we go through sustainability is to look at carrying on uh, one of our tools that we used, which was uh, focus groups. We learned how to conduct them. Uh, we had a template for um, interview questions, how to get the focus groups together, everything from equipment to working with somebody who could transcribe information for us and how to assess the information. And so that's a really important tool that we're gonna sustain over the long haul. Our coalition thought it was important to sustain focus groups because we had been really good at collecting quantitative data. Historically, we had been using survey data for a very long time, and we were less comfortable, I think, with focus groups. And now that we have a skill set that we didn't previously have, we want to make sure that it stays strengthened. And we found a lot of value in qualitative data. There were things that our folks could tell us in our community that we weren't really capturing just with um, a single point number or comparison whether something increased or decreased. So it'll be important for us to make sure that we continue those efforts. We've also used the tool with some other people in our community. Um, our fiscal agent has asked to use the focus group concept. We helped conduct some of those and um, also one of the coalitions that's in our county in a community conducted focus groups that were key and will be key for their grant application in the future. Talk to your OCAMP coach. Get feedback is what's really important as a tool 
to use and um, one of our learning points in this whole process. Another component I think is also that you have to go through each phase of the SPF process and you can't fast forward through the phases that you're maybe less familiar with or uncomfortable with. And so each phase is important in making sure that you delve into each of them and you do so thoughtfully and fully. I think there were some areas we were less comfortable with and wanted to kind of speed up, but really to get the best end product, you really need to, to go through the entire process. Yeah, you're in it for the long haul. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon, and you've got to be ready to do the hard work. And you've got to be flexible as well, because you're going to meet up with some roadblocks and challenges. And again, if you reach out to other people, you can get some feedback and um, access other people who are working on the same process so you can compare how they've done things in their community, in their county, what's worked, what hasn't, lessons learned, and challenges.